All right, so we're just going to talk about the Leafs game. Um, this was an absolutely pivotal game for the Maple Leafs. Uh, I think the statistic was before the game, teams that win game one and two win 80% of the times. I think it was a little higher than 80, but it was up there. And this was just such an important game for the Maple Leafs. It's not so much that they lost that really sucks. I think it's the way they lost that's frustrating for fans and for this organization. And I think what's really happening now is now that I'm now that they're down to nothing, I'm starting to think that they thought the work was over after winning the first round. I, I think the city hyped it up so much, you know, hockey fans chirped them for so long and then they finally get over the hump. Everyone kind of forgot that there's still a whole process to go. That is evident to me when the Leafs are down 2 nothing in the series against Florida. Let's let's make one thing clear, okay? The Leafs were the better team in this game for at least 50% of it. At least 50% of it. I would say the third period, they were all over Florida. The first 10 minutes of the first period, they were like going. So to me, that screams a team that has what it takes. Uh, but then somewhere in the game, the Leafs just decided to basically turn the puck over every opportunity they got. And one of them being on, I think, the third goal, the game winning goal was Matthews. He tried to clear the puck, sail it over some players, and he turns the puck over. And I think the Chuck sets up a, another goal for the Florida Panthers, and they win. At the very end of the second period, Matthew takes a penalty. The Leafs on that penalty kill like immediately when the third period starts. You can't have that. Now, has Matthews played poorly? I don't think so. I think he's had his chances. Bobrovsky has been absolutely unreal. That's one thing you have to give the Panthers. Like Bobrovsky has been so unbelievably good. And the Leafs lost simply because they just gave up the lead. What they should have done was built on it. They got comfortable at 2 nothing. They just caught one up after the other and they got what they deserved. As soon as Florida got the lead, Bobrovsky shut them down. They had so many chances. Two on ones. Tavares had at least three chances in alone on Bobrovsky. Nylander had a chance. A couple crossbars. I mean, this game was absolutely unreal. There's some statistic that I read it was like i think it was uh in tampa bay they played with the lead 25 percent of the time and now i'm seeing with this florida series the leaves are rarely playing well with the lead so that is a problem it's just embarrassing if you're the maple leafs like you really got to find a way to win this hockey game especially when you're up to nothing florida just they just ride the storm i mean they headed into game three now the leaves have to steal both games on the road although they have played better on the road this is just not a spot you want to find yourself so this one was a bit different let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and and if you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments. I will do more of them if you guys enjoy it. And of different games, you know, if there's a specific game that I should comment on, you can also let me know. It's Cappy, and I'm out.